Hello Virgo, this is Eva at Munga Desoreca, and this is your love reading for what, who you don't see coming. This is your reading if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. Also if you are the cross watcher, so your love interest is Virgo, the energies are reversible and the message can be for you. Let's see what energy you are dealing with right now, Virgo. What energy you are in right now. All right, <laughs> we've got three coming out. Wow, interesting. So for some of you, what, sorry, those of you who watched the October monthly reading, this is very much resonating with that uh, because um, you are at crossroads. So you are making a decision third eye opening you are asked to listen to your intuition if you haven't done that yet and unconditional love you are truly stepping into your heart heart's power and the bottom of the deck is work on your feminine side it's about vulnerability so this is about getting in touch with your emotions truly um, finding out how you feel about yourself, about your future, about your connection, and um, and be honest with yourself. So it's honestly expressing your emotions. Now, <clears throat> I um, I have a few decks prepared <clears throat> already. Sorry, and um, before I do that, I'm going to go to the tarot and see what is coming up as a clarifier for these energies. So why is the crossroads here? <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful. We've got the magician, so you are in your power and you would like to manifest what you want. And the sun, you would like to be happy. So that is very very beautiful and uh, a page of cups with a new beginning in love is possible it's very much relating to the um october reading why is the third eye opening here why is the third eye opening here the seven of cups with the word yeah exactly so you have choices. You can choose so many from maybe different people. You can choose to be on your own. You can choose to be with someone else. And if you want to be with someone else, you could choose your ex, your someone who you already know but haven't uh, acted on the connection yet. So for many of you, there are lots of options here available. And if you follow your intuition, you will make the right choice. And there is the word card here, which is... Um, showing that you you are creating a new world you are shifting into a new um energy this is the abundance this is um looking into what you can create and you already do it by connecting with your intuition and uh, why is the heart light here the unconditional love king of swords because um you well it, this is coming in more than one ways um so you are on this journey to you want to make a quick progress in in stepping into unconditional love and also someone is on his way to you uh, to help you experience that can we have one more That is the lovers. It is really the very similar energy to this October reading. So it looks like maybe, um, well, we are at the very end of September now. So maybe this is imminent for some of you, for someone coming in who you fall in love with. And uh, that person is truly there in your life to guide you to experience more love in your life in a very different way and this could be that um love you were you have been looking for two of ones 
making decisions. So it is the crossroads. This is uh, like um, if you stay in the energy where you are right now, you have the choices and you cannot move forward from that point without making a choice because you have at least two paths to go down or for some of you more than two. So you need to be able to find the right choice and that is only happening through your intuition. It's very, very interesting. Okay, I've got the Lenormand today because I really wanted to find um, out a bit more about this energy that is coming towards you. So let's get into this. So there is the Knight of Swords coming and let's find out what can we know about this Knight of Swords and the relationship that's unfolding. So let's get the first three cards out. All right, interesting. So we've got um, the mask. And this mask is like, you see there is a, a beautiful star up there and lots of light uh, streaming down. And this is one person with the sun and the moon, with the masculine and the feminine within. And as this light uh, streaming down, it is... Um, also, I feel um, creating a portal, a pathway, and um, with this one right now, what comes through is go with the flow, follow the light, and... Um, there are stars here, look. Um, it's almost like the stars are aligning for you to create the stability, use your inner knowing to make the right choice. And that leads to number 20. It's number two, it's partnership. It's a, This is the park, it, it's meeting socializing, meeting with people, and you are going to meet that very person, or you already, some of you could have met that person already, and could have been feeling that you can fall in love with this person, feeling the signs. So this is like an energy which is uh, very imminent. So it's, it could already be in your life. If not, it is right around the corner. And that brings abundance. So this is a destined connection, but you need to find the right choice, the right path, make the right decision to meet this uh, person. And, um, and we've got the anchor here and lots of emotions uh, on the card. But the anchor is helping to Find the balance, find your center, number 35. Through the emotions, there are lots of changes. So there are choppy waters, but you are um, managing. You are finding your way forward. Now let's see the rest, what's coming out here. Okay. So this person who is coming towards you or already in your life, brings you lots of happiness. 31, uh, experiencing lots of happy feelings, being in touch with your um, heart, with your soul. And it brings a new beginning, a very happy new beginning for you. So that's the portal which you are walking through. We've got another number five here, the 23, which is um, the mouse. It's a bit, it's, it's greed. So what you need to do, you are going through this change, the emotional change in a partnership, and it's leading to number seven, aligning with the heaven and earth. Um, 
So some of you could feel that you already have maybe a... Um, maybe you figured out your life and you feel like this you don't deserve or maybe... Yeah, if there's something like a lack of self-worth, self-confidence, or maybe even limiting beliefs uh, could make you feel you are greedy to want to have this, you feel like you can't have it all. That's what's coming to me. And that isn't true. Some people feel that if they have money, they can't have the love. If they have love, they can't have the money, but it isn't true. You can have everything. The universe is not saying, no, this is a limit here. That's that's your lot. Deal with it. No, the universe says, take it all, have it all. I am happy to give it to you all, but you need to find your way. So don't fear, don't self-sabotage. Don't fear that you don't deserve this. And um, the dice, look at that, 39, which is adding up to 12, adding up to 3. Lots of emotional stuff going on here. And you might be feeling like you are lucky to have this person in your life, which is a very good place to be, because if you are truly grateful for what you have, you just attract more good things into your life. So what else can we find out about this connection which is coming towards Virgo? Oh God, this is really good. So we've got the the clubber, uh, number two, partnership, to number six, creativity. So it is like you are walking through the portal to true happiness, new beginning, and you have the luck on your side. And we've got the messenger here with number one. There is like a, a letter coming your way, being delivered could be a text message, an email, uh, which is uh, showing you uh, it's one to nine. So that's like almost like a, a beacon of light, um, lighting up your path. So you suddenly feel like, oh my God, this is why this person is in my life. This is where we are heading towards. So you kind of see clearly uh, what what it is all about. And uh, finally, we've got the home, the house, the number four, the stability. So you are finding that. And um, it's, it's uh, the four leads to the king, the king who is rushing in here. The king of swords. Now, it could be an air sign, but it doesn't need to be an air sign. And um, this king is... Um, well, it is uh, I feel he is very much in his thoughts, but he is connecting with very much connected with the universe and um he's got uh, angel wings. <laughs> what I get here is God sent God sent this connection, this person. This relationship is God sent. It meant to be. So this home, it it could be that you end up living together, to move together um, with your king. But for some of you, I feel that it's truly the... The, the happiness, it is uh, the abundance. This is, I have the money, I have the love, I have the house, I have the happiness. This is what I, I dreamt of, and I am finally getting there. Oh my goodness, I love this. So, what you, the only negative card here is the greed. So what you need to watch out for is uh, your limiting beliefs, your low self-worth and low lack of self-love. So sort that out and all of this can be yours for those of you who it resonates with. 
So what is or who is coming towards you? What is coming is a possibility for a love relationship which brings you true happiness. And the person is a king uh, who could be an air sign, not necessarily need to be, who you fall in love with and you are being taken to unconditional love as well. So, well, for some of you, it could be a twin flame, but for others, it is a beautiful destined soul connection so i don't know who to ask now for some guidance i originally wanted the crystals so let's go with the crystals they are always very practical and i also have here the romance angels okay let's let's find that from the romance angels oh this just jumped out i'm going to show you in a second it says retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. <laughs> so for some of you, that's exactly what's coming. And um, let's see, what is the advice for Virgo? I'm not. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So I'm leaving the one on the floor. It doesn't. didn't even show its face. So, Virgo, retreat, trust, have faith, and the bottom of the deck, love yourself first, perfect. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. That's it. This is your reading, Virgo. I love it. So, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, also for your donations, and... Um, I will uh, keep doing these readings, <clears throat> to be honest. Uh, some are more popular amongst you than others, but uh, I'm going to watch which are the best, and uh, maybe I need to um, choose some which needs to go because uh, it's kind of getting a little too many, um, for me now so if you do like a video please hit the like button because I am going to go with the statistics from now on and if it's something that you like guys I am going to keep and if it's something that you don't I am going to take out so sending you lots of love take care bye